Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Deus Ex. Today we are going to tackle our, I believe, third visit to Hell's Kitchen. Let's see what Jock has to say first. We think Philbin is in the area. Tom will tell you more. Looks like your Natco brought in a lot of armor. Be careful down there, JC. We think Philbin is in the area. Tom will tell you more. No time to waste. You need to get to the Underworld Tavern and make contact with Harley Philbin. He is one of Belt's aides, and he will set up the meeting. Follow his instructions. So, new primary goal is get to the Underworld Tavern and meet with Harley Philbin. Before doing that, though... A problem, JC. Rioting in Manhattan has been so bad that the city's fallen under martial law. At this hour, the troops will shoot on sight, and I'm showing several guards and a robot near the hotel. Keep your head down. Let's head into the town first, see what we can see. Paul's apartment. Looks like very little has changed. His chair is missing. Looks like the place has been ransacked. There's a med kit here, though. And it looks as though our friendly neighborhood ransackers didn't find the secret room. 4321 still opens it. Looks like we have a multi-tool, a bioelectric cell, and pistol ammo. Let's go ahead and read the email. P. Denton, password chameleon. No email today. That's kind of lame. Oh well. He's got crime scene tape on his door. Let's check the other room. Hey, someone alive. Owner's left town, as far as I know. Heat's off, but I don't mind. I don't mind. A lot of rats, but I guess that's okay. Cops don't care where you are, as long as you're inside. Heard this place was condemned. Owner's left town, as far as I know. <laughs> All right. like there's nothing else to be had in here. Check the closet, just to be certain. Alright, let's check the elevator shaft, then. Nothing on this level. Go up top first. See nothing. Way down in the bottom, I spotted some assault rifle ammo and a gas grenade. There's something useful. <laughs> Let's head out to the lobby now. Riot cops are present and hostile to me. Even at low-tech weapon mastery, JC's just not as good with the baton as you know. Combat knife and a pistol, I believe. Let's roll up on the other guy now. Uh-oh. Uh, 
that's what I thought was gonna happen. Good. Beautiful. Okay. I guess the entire Tan Hotel has been condemned. I didn't know that, but Gilbert Renton is gone, no doubt looking for his daughter. 50 credits and the usual key to the hotel room. There's a newspaper here. Society, Party Against Tomorrow, New York Voice, Quasi Doty. As the rich flee the city in droves by car and horror of horrors, bus, needs must when the devil drives and the airports are closed. The rest of us are left to wallow in the empty crypt that has become our city. The sick and homeless shamble about as if they just left a casting call for Night of the Living Dead, and the cops obviously came from next door where they're filming a classic 1990s Michael Bay action flick. Really, the whole thing is too much. And what does Quasi recommend when it gets to be too much? Why, party, of course. It's not with historical precedent, children. Those of you without Zymaddle detention spans may remember Boccaccio's classic Decameron, and that's Boccaccio the 14th century writer, and not Boccaccio the fundal jungle fud DJ tripmaster, where a bunch of young, haughty Florentines decided to flee another one of these boring little plagues and hole up with a few too many bottles of wine, tell outrageous stories, and have a go at each other once in a while. So speaking only for Queasy, I'm going to invite over about 80 of my nearest and dearest, soon to be nearer and dearer, with all the food and recreational drugs they can carry, then lock the doors. Good night, children. So, hack the ATM. Hacking goes much faster with computer up to advanced. 175 credits, not bad. Let's read the public access. Declaration of Martial Law. Effective immediately, all citizens of New York City are hereby informed that at the, rec at the request of Governor Walpole, President Meade has declared martial law to be in effect for Manhattan and surrounding boroughs. Until further notice, the, the affected areas are under the authority of the Federal Emergency Management Administration, who will work with UNATCO and local law enforcement to eliminate the terrorist threat that has paralyzed the city in the past week. This is an extreme measure, one undertaken with the utmost gravity, but it is a necessary step to ensure the safety of the citizens of New York, said Walton Simons, director of FEMA. I can only stress that it is a temporary situation that will be resolved as quickly as possible. Citizens are advised that a curfew has been instituted from 9pm to 7am. Further details will follow. Most Wanted, J.C. Denton. Citizens of New York are warned to be on the lookout for terrorist J.C. Denton, also known as Travis Whitsitt. Denton, a terrorist leader, is wanted in conjunction with a number of crimes, including the recent attack on UNATCO headquarters, the bombing of the Versalife building in Hong Kong, and the murders of Juan Ivanovich Lebedev, UNATCO agent Anna Navarra, and UNATCO director Joseph Manderley. Denton is approximately six feet tall, with silver facial tattoos and solid blue eyes, the result of a genetic condition usually concealed by a pair of sunglasses. He is armed and extremely dangerous. If you believe you have seen or know someone answering to this description, do not attempt to engage them, but immediately report them to your nearest FEMA, UNATCO, or police presence. New Cremation Center. As per FEMA Public Health Directive 27, PhD 27, all bodies are to be cremated immediately upon expiration. To facilitate this process, a new crematorium has been opened in Yankee Stadium. However, citizens are asked not to transport bodies themselves, but to contact the appropriate health officials at emergency services slash slash nynet.323.4095 if they require assistance. Failure to comply with any FEMA directive is punishable by a minimum sentence of three years in jail and or a fine of up to 10,000 credits. Government shutdowns. Until further notice, all city, state, and county offices are closed, and the following services suspended. Public schools, municipal buses, garbage service, road maintenance. In addition, all air travel to and from John F. Kennedy International Airport and LaGuardia has been cancelled. Transit disruptions. As the result of terrorist action, several subway stations are now closed to traffic. 18th Street, Battery Park, York Street, Clark Street, High Street, Queens Bridge and Queensboro, Pelham Green Line from Elder to Middleton. Alternate routes will be posted at or near the affected stations or can be found on transit slash slash nynet.002.32323. 
Note that district passes will be strictly monitored to prevent unauthorized travel, and curfew will be observed at all stations throughout the greater metropolitan area. They're getting hardcore. MJ-12 must be afraid of us. Let's head outside now. I like the lack of background music. Really, uh, locks in the dead, empty city atmosphere that they're going for. Yeah, I can drop these guys with batons. I don't want to waste tranquilizer darts on them. Hear a robot on its way. Yep, there it is. I have no EMP grenades, so we'll just have to do this like so. He's still around. I heard him move. Worry about the riot cop next. Police! Don't move! Put them on the ground! I was hoping the mailbox would work as hard cover, but that was clearly a foolish hope. But maybe I can just get behind him this way. Another knife and assault rifle. That's pretty common, it seems. There's another cop. Walking an identical route. Kind of weird, but there's another. Good, he turned around. That had me worried. Oh, holy! Oh, see him. Oh, that's the oh, one. Take him. Put him on the ground. That's the one. Take him! Ugh. That's okay. the one. Take him! Just checking things out. Pull off the one shot takedown with the baton. Let's get this guy too. <laughs> Got him. Now let's lose the knife. Looks like somebody burned out Osgood and Sons. God! Are you kidding me? New bad guys spawning in. How much of that is gonna go on, I wonder? I 
So I just need to manage to stay hidden. I thought Manderley was dead. We'll find him. This guy's just a rookie. He gets away, Manderley's gonna have our ass. There's one. God damn terrorist! How is he seeing me? We'll find him. This guy's just a rookie. He's still around somewhere. Might need to do some good old fashioned cloaking here. This ain't over. Probably do. We'll find him. This guy's just a rookie. Lock and God! They're programmed to know where I am. That Nail much this is guy obvious. And we all get a bonus. God damn terrorist. You, he's still a Stop he's right there. I think we blew it. How do they... What this is going over. on? They just Nail know guy, exactly where I am. Okay, I've got my power recirculator on. Hold it. Oh. Ah. Yeah, check that ah. out. They just know. Nail this guy and we all get a bonus. Nail Cloak this on, guy and we all get doesn't a matter. Bonus. Fine. Don't play hard ah. though. I don't want to kill you, that guy, guys. You guys have just been given evil orders by evil people. You don't know any better. Well, that worked. That's good. Getting worried there for a minute. Let's wait for the gas to clear and then search their bodies. Knife and assault rifle, same. same. Police! Don't same. move! Here comes the cop just in time. Still, it's good to have that handled. Now let's get up behind this cop. Then I'll go check out the burnt out Osgood and Sons. Ooh. Same thing with him assault rifle and a knife. Alright, power recirculator and regeneration. More Unatco troopers. Great. Shit. I will find him. This guy's just a rookie. Incorrect inform. Uh, attach. Streets clear. No danger. There we go. Two more with knives and assault rifles. Somebody's messing with Daedalus. Good now? I hope so. Spawning guys in was getting annoying. Nothing but pistol ammo in those. Nothing inside Osgood and Sons. There's our old basement window. Let's check out the free clinic. There's a newspaper here. 
Midnight Sun, Food of the Gods, New York. Ambrosia, the mythical food of the gods, may in fact be something more than a myth. It may be a cure for the mysterious Grey Death that has infected this city with sickening dread over the past several months. What is this Ambrosia, and where does it come from? Speaking on the condition of anonymity, highly placed sources have revealed in an exclusive to the Midnight Sun that Ambrosia is the government code name for a cure to the plague that has already taken so many lives. Unfortunately, the current manufacturing process appears to yield only small amounts of Ambrosia, which have so far been prioritized for ranking government officials and a select group of industry leaders. It's a matter of money and connections, said one source. There simply isn't enough to go around. If such allegations are true, then it goes far beyond the terrible events of recent memory. It is evidence of systemic corruption that rises to the highest ranks of President Meade's administration, a callous disregard for human life that must and will be opposed. Joe Green, senior staff writer. All right. To the free clinic. Good news is it's safe in there. Things have deteriorated since last we were here. You'll notice that the actual clinic staff are pretty much gone. From J. Allred, subject, stay home. I'm going to talk to the staff individually, but if the riots are as bad tomorrow as they were today, then I want you to stay home. This place is starting to feel a lot like a war zone, only I'm not sure who the enemy is, and I'm afraid it might be us. In any case, I'm going to leave the clinic open. What few supplies we had have been removed, and the place might at least provide some shelter for those who need it. If I'm able to make it in tomorrow, I'll tend to those here as best I can. Be careful, Allred. From Liza Priest, subject, what's going on? The clinic is closing. If you're having an emergency, please see one of the bots. The doctors have gone home. Plague vaccine is just a rumor. We have no such thing here. You can sleep on a couch until the police open the streets. I said you can stay, now leave me alone. I said you can stay, now leave me alone. I don't know if this mail will find you or not. It's been bounced a couple of times off the New York net, but I keep trying, hoping it's temporary downtime and not something permanent. There's been an almost total blackout of news from New York City. Just talk about terrorists and martial law. Last thing I saw on broadcast was some smuggled footage of these black helicopters and soldiers in riot gear. It looked like a war. The president came on and said that it was only temporary, that it was necessary to protect our way of life. I think that was it. Hey, hey Coleman, how you holding up? I'm fine, just fine. Come on, we're safe in here. How long are we gonna be safe, Ike? They're just shooting people for no reason. Don't you worry, this'll all pass. Sure it will. Afterwards, one of the other grad students here started making plans to move to Lagos, even got a passport. I began to wonder if he might not have the right idea. No one can get through to you on the phone, and we're all just hoping you're okay. As soon as you can, call us or write or do whatever you have to do. I'll be thinking about you, Liz. God damn, but I'm tired of living like this. I saw the cops shoot someone right in front of me. It's not like television, it's just a pop and then there's some blood on the ground. They said the martial law was only temporary, but it doesn't feel very temporary to me. Ike thinks they've got a cure, but there's not enough for everyone. That's why the soldiers are out there, protecting the cure. At the kitchen, they told me I should repent my sins, but I don't know what I did wrong. At least I don't have the plague. You ever been to Paris? I'd like to see Paris. God damn, but I'm tired. Smart man. Staying off the streets. 
Too much trouble out there. A lot of bad mojo. All those cops acting like they're invading a foreign country. I hear they've got a cure. That's what people are saying. Heard it from Smuggler. He meant all to themselves. What happened in this damn country? Keeps going from bad to worse. You stay in here. Mostly no one bothers us in here. You got the look on you. Man who's running out of friends. <sighs> Maybe it'll be better in the morning. <sighs> Maybe it'll be better in the morning. There's nothing in there. Let's check the restrooms. Here's Joe Green. Big story at the clinic. I interviewed the doctors, poker-faced as politicians. Didn't even blink when you say the word ambrosia. Maybe they think you're talking about the food of the gods. I'm serious. Don't believe the stories coming out of Hong Kong that the government had a cure all along. Could be. They've got proof. They found the cure. It's called ambrosia. Don't believe everything you read. Har har. Even though we're not working for Unatco, it still remains a bad idea to tell Joe Green anything. Check the public terminals. It was a big day in the news. Wish I'd have been the one to get the scoop on Ambrosia. I'll bet somebody already has a book deal on the cover-up. I'll bet somebody already has a book deal on the cover-up. There's a bum here, but he apparently doesn't want to talk. All right. The corpses are gone. That much is good. It's a med kit on the ground. Let's read this newspaper and then hack this computer. Beth Duclair awarded Legion of Honor, APR, Paris, France. Beth Duclair, millionaire, philanthropist, activist, and famously reputed to be the mistress of French President Alain Bourges Maunouri, was today posthumously awarded the position of Chevalier in the Ordre Royal de la Légion d'Honneur. Created by Napoleon Bonaparte on May 19, 1802, the Legion of Honor is an order of merit to which all qualifying military personnel or civilians can be nominated without regard to birth or religion, provided that they swear to uphold liberty and equality. The award was not without some controversy, as members of the Republican Social Union for French Democracy, RSUFD party, disputed the merit based on her involvement in the Somnolente Ile scandal that rocked the Serra administration five years ago. <coughs> Beth Duclair passed away in September, found dead at her chateau of natural causes. She was survived by her daughter, Nicolette Duclair, who has been missing since her mother's death. Police currently have no leads as to her whereabouts. The award was accepted on Beth Duclair's behalf by President Borges Maunouri. There's another med kit under the desk. Let's hack this computer now. From T. Moore, subject, week re regarding weekly report. I appreciate your update, but I'll be frank with you. The situation is deteriorating faster than you know, and the board is completely paralyzed. That 10 million credit donation promised by Page is nowhere to be seen. Two-thirds of the staff haven't shown up to work in the last few days. Rumors are starting to surface that there may be a cure for the Grey Death, and what few supply runs we've been managed have been attacked by rioters who think we're hoarding it. The media has been absolutely irresponsible, stirring people up into a frenzy. You may now access the med bots, even if you never purchased the code. Of course, I have no reason to. Unatco troops set up shop here yesterday, calling the whole thing a peacekeeping occupation and monitoring all medical traffic. When certain individuals come into any of the clinics for treatment, they're immediately rounded up. I'm not sure who's running the show anymore. If you get this message, do whatever you need to do, up to and including shutting down the clinic. First priority should be the safety of you and your staff. I'm not sure how we can help anymore. Godspeed, Thomas. From 
W. Simons, Rumor Control. Hey, there's Data Game back here. Oh, good. To all staff, in the event that neither myself nor Miss Priest are able to reach the clinic, you may access necessary medical records from either of our computers using the following logins and passwords. J. Allred, Apple, Alice P underscore Priest, Secretary. I trust you to use your best judgment and to perform with the professionalism and talent which you all have demonstrated so ably in the past. But always be safe. Together we'll overcome these troubles as we have so many others. Sincerely, Dr. Allred. I never found that either. I always thought I played this game thoroughly, but I find new things every time. So, J all red, Apple. That's easy. To all staff, the recent terrorist attacks on the city and people of New York and the subsequent declaration of martial law in an attempt in an in an attempt to stem the tide of violence has unfortunately created an environment where rumor has supplanted fact as the currency of information. In an effort to ensure that you have the latest, most accurate news, FEMA will be sending you periodic bulletins. Only stories officially verified and approved by FEMA should be trusted. First and foremost, I can put an end to one rumor and emphatically state that there is no cure for the Grey Death at present. Government scientists are working day and night to find a treatment, but any stories referencing a secret government cure are outright lies of the most vicious sort. Future bulletins will follow. Please feel free to contact your nearest FEMA or UNATCO representative if you have any further questions. Walton Simons, Director, Federal Emergency Management Agency. That's Alice Brees. Just making sure that it is the one we hacked earlier. It is. Okay, we're done in here. enter the actual log in here just to be doubly certain. Yes, good. Alright, back out to the streets. I'm gonna check out the alley behind the bar right quick. Talk to this bum. Stay out of the street. Cops shoot at anything. Not too many places left to hide. The bots shoot anything that don't have a uniform. Saw one of the bots cut down an old lady in her groceries. Man, that ain't right. Saw one of the bots cut down an old lady in her groceries. There are crossbow darts here. Let's make one quick side trip down into the sewers. Hey, there's a standing trooper here. That's odd. Bogey! Gotcha. He's in, he's in a problem spot, too. I'll probably have to cloak to get in behind him. Power recirculator and cloak. Right until I'm out of the danger zone. Getting to the this center here. This posting sucks. It's worth 60 skill points as it has been on our past two visits. <laughs> Empty sniper rifle and a knife. I can't believe I can carry a sniper rifle. I don't think there's anything else happening inside the facility, but it's worth checking. MJ-12 coup d'etat should still work. Can't rotate the bridge as before. Let's check down here first. The lasers and turrets are still in place. This entrance. There's another corpse. <laughs> this 
just a med kit up here on this side. Alright, so basically nothing except the skill points. But, let's check the other side of the grid. Well... See, there's nothing in the other side of the grid, but... Looks like there is some stuff down in the water. Oh, we'll have to check that out real quick. There's a med kit. Nothing on these corpses, seems like. Pistol ammo. A lockpick. No, two lockpicks. Okay, that is worthwhile. Get JC down there to grab it. And because we're a good distance away. mod sitting inside that pipe. I happen to know I have no use for it, so I'm not going to bother, but there it is if you want it. Well, let's regenerate with the power recirculator. Let's rotate the bridge again so we can get out of here. There actually are some goodies down there. Wouldn't have, didn't expect that. The 60 skill points are the main reason I came down here. I'm up to 352. Let's head back up here. There's the Underworld Tavern. Let me check out the rest of the streets first. Wait, NSF headquarters is sealed off again. That's that's fine and dandy. That's the one. Take him. I'll accept that for the simple reason that I don't feel like the trial. Goddamn terrorist! Oh. I guess I Damn won't accept terrorist. it after all. Looks like any time we engage a cop, we spawn some UNATCO troops. That I did not know. That's that's very interesting. Maybe it's only if they see me and shoot at me. It's hard to know with any certainty. Nail there's one. So, where to hide? Behind the barricade, maybe? We'll find him. This guy's just a rookie. Stay sharp, people. Right. Lock and load. Oh, damn. I think the riot cop is what spotted me. Oh. Nail this guy and we all get a bounce. Oh. See him. Oh. Engaging the enemy. Damn. God oh. damn oh. terrorist. Oh. 
Yeah, I better wait for the riot cop to patrol away. Hold it! Hold it! Good gravy. This is annoying. There's one! Sorry, folks. Lock and load! How is he seeing me? I'm behind cover. This is ridiculous. He's still around somewhere. Suspect is still in the area. You! Put him on Stop the ground! Stop right there! He's way too... Alright. Knife and assault rifle. Same. Same. Uh, hopefully that's everybody. Oh, no, nope, here come two more. We'll find him. This guy's just a rookie. Engaging him. <laughs> He's still around somewhere. Let's get him. <laughs> you! Stop right there! One hopes that these are the last two. I do anyway. Knife and assault rifle, knife and assault rifle, no change there. Hopefully that really is all. I'm gonna run back to the free clinic and take advantage of the med bots to heal the damage I just took. Much better. that done, let me finish searching the streets. We'll leave the Underworld Tavern for last, because that progresses the storyline. We've already been down there. Over here. Nothing. Let's check the street out in front of the Todd now. We will go visit Smuggler, too. I'll hold off on that till near the end. So let's check the subway. Can't get in and the keypad is gone. Fair enough. Check the basketball court now. Nothing there, but there is a guy back here. A damn ghost town. Hey, let me breathe, okay? What's the army protect except itself? You better not try nothing. Hey, let me breathe, okay? <clears throat> All 
Alright, that's done. The back way to smugglers is unlocked, but... Smuggler actually is part of the main storyline, so we'll save him until after the bar. Which is all we have left to explore. Let's do exactly that. These are all the same, I think. Let's just hack with two ATMs. Zero credits? What's that horse shit? Zero credits? Devastating. Oh. Uh, Nothing in this first room, <coughs> except the bartender and a soldier. Let's talk to the bartender first. What do you want? Prices have tripled to 30 because of martial law. Heard the name Stanton Dowd. What do you want with Dowd? A private matter. Know where I can find him? I'm gonna say this once. That German mech from Unaco already came by looking for you. You got money to spend? Fine. This curfew's killing me, but leave me out of your business. That guy's oiled up and ready for a fight. Gunther. Do you want something or not? Never mind. Now, let's talk to the soldier. You out here because of martial law? I didn't know they were using Marines. Nah, Yanako likes to work alone. I just came out to look up a girl I used to know, Sandra Renton. FEMA gave me a pass for the curfew. She left town. I know, I know. Just my luck. What's FEMA doing handing out travel papers? They took over the advanced submarine base where I work. I don't like being pushed off duty, but I guess little R&R &R never hurt anyone. They brought in their own staff? Most of us were moved out of the main submarine hangar last night. FEMA set up a perimeter. We sure like to know what's going on in there. Pick the first option. I would too. Maybe I'll check it out for you. You a cop? Used to be. I'll say it straight. I'm a patriot. I don't like to see one of our top secret bases commandeered, especially when the only people allowed inside are these Asian Mafia types. You think you can do something about it, I can have my buddies at the front gate let you slip by. My name's Vinny. Tell them you know me. Thanks. I'll see what I can find out. So doing that, first it makes the next mission easier, but it also gives you 100 skill points. Marine's name, Vinny, has friends at the submarine facility who might be willing to help. Us Americans, last of a dying breed. We've got to stick together. I don't know why we let so many crooks run this country. I saw Walton Simons himself get out of a helicopter on the roof of the hangar. We know a cover-up when we see one. I asked one of the guys, so what's the emergency? Why's FEMA here? He said, you ask one more question, the emergency's gonna be you. That's how they talk to you. I asked one of the guys, so what's the emergency? Watch finger. Move on into the next room. And Harley Philbin is the only person we find. Yanakos put a price on your head. What are you doing in the city? I didn't expect the kitchen to be under martial law. People know the government has a vaccine. Riots everywhere. You still on a dole at Yanakos? I never mentioned. I've been working for the NSF all along, and the Illuminati. I'm on your side. Right, the Illuminati. I need to find one of their leaders, Stanton Dowd. A load of plague virus is on its way to New York. Virus? You mean the Great Death? What's Dowd got to do with it? The same corporation that makes Ambrosia also manufactures the virus. Quite convenient. The virus came over in a super freighter previously owned by Dowd. Yeah, most of Majestic 12 is just hand-me-downs from the Illuminati. Huh. We knew about Ambrosia, but the virus? That's news. They're infecting people on purpose, huh? I was hoping Dowd could tell me where the freighter would unload. I'll contact him. Go to the burn-up storefront of Osgood & Sons, over where the tunnels connect to the warehouse district. You know, where the NSF had the generator. I'll try to get him to meet you there. Osgood & Sons. Yeah, and JC? Be careful who you mention the Illuminati to. Like Joe Green. He's a spy for Unatco. The reporter? Are you sure? 
Here's the proof. Hey, kill Green and you'll be doing all of us a favor. I saw him hanging around the free clinic. So we get a hundred more skill points for talking to Philbin. We got an image and two new goals. New secondary goal, kill the traitor Joe Green in the free clinic. I'll knock him out. And new primary goal, meet Stanton Dowd at the Osgood and Sons storefront near the tunnels leading to the warehouse district. Here's the proof. It's just Joe Green talking to an MJ-12 trooper and a couple of MIBs. Dowd doesn't like to be contacted directly. You'll have to trust me. Green doesn't know who I really work for, so I managed to get him talking. Apparently, they promised Green some kind of position in Washington. Someone will meet you in the alley. Someone will meet you in the alley. All right. Let's check the restrooms before we leave, just for the sake of thoroughness. Head out the back door. I'll go knock out Joe Green right quick. Since he's on the way to Osgood and Sons anyway. Though I can talk to him first, I think. There's talk that you're a spy. A spy? For whom? You aren't a reporter at all. You work for UNATCO. Guess you scooped me this time. Knocking him out is sufficient to complete the secondary goal. That's handy. Well, before I go meet Dowd, let's... Oh, who's this guy? Uh-huh, what's up? Lost or something? Hardly recognize this place anymore. I don't know where he came from. What? I'm just standing here. You got a problem? Back off, man. Back off, man. <laughs> Let me tell Phil that I knocked out Green. I took out that reporter, Joe Green. I don't like people who ask a lot of questions. No shit. Man, you really did change sides. Never would have thought it possible. Thanks for getting rid of that guy. They're dropping like flies. Dowd doesn't like to be contacted directly. Now we'll go meet Dowd. right here. You Dowd? I agreed to see you because we have a mutual enemy. Why a vacant building? I thought the Illuminati were bankers, politicians, Council on Foreign Relations types. <coughs> we always stayed in the background, even when that was true. You all right? <coughs> Caught this damn plague myself. <coughs> anyway, we never had troops like Majestic 12 or freighters full of bioweapons if <coughs> if what you say is accurate it's accurate i just don't know where the freighter would dock they'll want to hide it the only facility big enough on the east coast <coughs> is the advanced submarine facility at the brooklyn naval shipyards of course that's why fema took it over <coughs> they're probably storing the virus in the ship's diesel tanks the only way to make sure <coughs> it's the only way to make sure it's destroyed will be to scuttle the ship. Scuttle a super freighter? 
It can be done, if you know where to place the charges. <coughs> Smugglers should have explosives that will work. I already have some explosives. I'd pick up some more while I have the chance. But if you think you're equipped, then find your pilot and get going. You sure you're all right? <sighs> I'm hanging in there. If you come across some ambrosia on that ship, however... <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get you some medicine. I'll give you a blueprint of the ship. <clears throat> the X's mark the five trihull wells. <clears throat> Crack those up. <clears throat> Reverse the bilge pumps, and the ship will split open like a banana. So we get a whopping 900 skill points for talking to Dowd, and our goals change. We have... A new, our new primary goal is to scuttle the PCS wall cloud by destroying the five tri-hole welds with explosives and by reversing the bilge pump flow. Pumping water into the bilges will destabilize the ship's weight distribution and cause the hull to split open. And our secondary goals are see the smuggler for explosives for scuttling the super freighter and bring Stanton Dowd some ambrosia to counteract the Grey Death. He also... Well, there's our 900 skill points. That's awesome. He gave us two images as well. The PCRS wall cloud, upper decks. Bottom deck, crew quarters, crew quarters, gallery, chem lab. Mid deck, electronics, sick bay, watch room, armory. And top deck, bridge, ship command center, and captain's quarters. PCRS wall cloud, lower decks. Sub-level deck one, there's a helicopter bay. Cooling systems, electrical, bilge pumps. And you see the... Five X's, mark what he called the tri-hole welds, use explosives here to rupture inner hull. Uh, control tower, boiler, oil reservoir, boiler, sub-level deck two, helicopter bay, helicopter ops, electrical observation deck, cooling systems, bilge pumps, control tower, boiler, oil reservoir, and turbine. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah, they're all on there. Tong told me he found an interesting molecular signature. <laughs> on the virus, <coughs> a clue to who developed it. I am certain it was a former member of the Illuminati. The custom <coughs> among our scientists was to sign their work like painters. It was a group of conspirators within the Illuminati <coughs> that formed Majestic 12 <coughs> to begin with. The conspirators <coughs> were far more ruthless than we were. We couldn't compete. <coughs> Majestic 12 realized that technology alone <coughs> could be a source of political power. However, <coughs> the Illuminati laid the foundation. The multinationals, <coughs> the global structures Majestic 12 depends upon. <coughs> Majestic 12 inherited a system that took millennia to develop. Yeah. It's true that our organization stretches back to the Order of the Assassins, <coughs> or Hashishim, <coughs> but not in the way you might imagine. <coughs> the Order hasn't so much lasted as been continually revived. <coughs> Adam Weishaupt started from scratch in Bavaria in 1776. <sighs> But so did Thomas Jefferson a few years later. It's the idea that has lasted. The system. Or the desire. <laughs> Every thinking person's desire to give the world some decent organization. Cecil Rhodes, for instance. Absolutely no formal connection to the Illuminati at all. <laughs> but one of the greatest <laughs> visionaries of centralized power. Now we have road scholarships, which feed recruits right into the Council on Foreign Relations, a very powerful tool. In my opinion, the history of the human race has been one long succession of conspiracies. To deceive ourselves, we call the successful conspiracies governments. Uh, we're running out of time. Better track down the smuggler. Uh, All right. We're running out of time. 
Better track down the smuggler. MJ-12 troops converging on your position, JC. I'll land the copter on the roof of the Ton. Get out of there. But I need to see the smuggler first. MJ-12 troops converging on your position, JC. I'll land the copter on the roof of the Ton. Get out of there. Here somewhere. That was good. That was easy. Aim for the head. Ah! Ah! He hasn't gone far. He's still in the area. He's, He's here somewhere. somewhere. Remember the briefing. Watch yourself. This one's some kind of mech. It's dead. Oh, Remember the briefing. Damn. Assault rifle. Ah, six. Right. It could be anywhere. Watch yourself. This one's some kind of mech. They both just have assault rifles with knives. So I can leave them be, at least. Watch yourself. This one's some kind of mech. Ah. He's here somewhere. That's the one. Okay, oh. drop it. That's the one. Okay, drop it. That didn't help nearly as much as I would have hoped. It's dead. Remember the briefing. Somehow he's watch yourself. That's some on. kind of mech. Without spotting me. This annoys me. He's still in the area. I think that's all of them. Six troopers. That's the one. Okay, drop it. away by now. That's the one. Okay, drop him. Let's finish him off. the head. It's dead. Remember the briefing. Gotcha. That's the one. Okay, drop him. I wish JC knew to... Well, I wish the game would keep me crouched when I save and reload. That go? would make this. Check your six. It could be anywhere. Much simpler. This one's some kind of mech. He's here somewhere. This 
This is turning into a huge pain in the ass. Let's finish him off. Where'd he go? Let's trank some of these assholes. I'm getting fed up it's with dead. them. Remember the briefing. Watch yourself. This one's some kind Check of mix. Oh, oh, anywhere. Oh, Watch the one. Okay, he hasn't gone far. It's Denton. Remember the briefing. Up, where'd he go? Remember the briefing. One down, five to go. It's Denton. Oh. Remember the briefing. Crikey, really? <laughs> He's miles away by now. That's the one. Okay, drop him. How are they fighting? <laughs> <laughs> How many are going to spawn? He's gone. I need to know that too. God! The head. I have nothing. Repeat, nothing here. Recharge my bioelectric energy. I think they all just have assault rifles and knives. It looks like that was a grand total of nine troopers. Hey, look! There's a prod charger on the bed. There's another trooper. That's ten. First, I'm gonna visit the med bots again, because that was such a pain in the butt. I hated it in Thief, and I hate it here when the guys are when their programming dictates that they know exactly where you are. I can't stand it. Heal all, please. Heal all, please. I'm trying to remember where I saw bio cells, and I think there's just one inside the Todd, so I can grab that on my way up to see Paul, or I can grab it from Paul's apartment on my way to Jock's helicopter. For now, I still need to visit Smuggler. All of the MJ-12 troops happily handled. Now you are finished. Yes. Password? Bloodshot. Nothing up there. I'm showing net activity on 
several of the smuggler's avatars. He must be at home. Have to bypass this as usual, but not to worry. Another multi-tools right here, so we stay at maximum. I imagine this is still a lock pick. It has been before. I currently have 20 of those. Let's move on into smugglers. I'm picking up incoming MJ-12 troops. They must have your location. Better get what you need from smuggler pronto and meet me on the roof of the hotel. New goal. Once you obtain the items from Smuggler, get back to the hotel roof and take the helicopter to Brooklyn Naples Shipyard. Alright. 20 skill points for getting in here. Now, as I recall, we have to make one purchase from Smuggler and we get some skill points if we do. I need your help. What for? I've located a supply of the virus that causes gray death. A freighter at the Brooklyn Naval Shipyard. It's the government, isn't it? Part of some experiment. Conspirators. Some in the government, some out. What do you expect me to do about a freighter? Help me scuttle it. You have any extra lambs or rockets? You think you can scuttle a freighter with a lamb? A few lambs at weld points. I'll help you out. How about a rocket for a GEP gun? Usually save those for the NSF, but I'll sell it at a loss, say 2500 You can also have a half dozen lambs for 2400 Better buy now. I'm selling cheap only because a lot of people could die. Give me a break. Hundreds of millions of lives are at stake. I like what you're doing, but I gotta cover my costs. Hey, I'm starting to get nervous about this. What you're about to do is gonna turn some heads. I don't want any trouble from the authorities. Actually, UNACO's planning an operation of some kind. You might want to get out of Hell's Kitchen after I leave. What kind of operation? A manhunt. For me. I don't think you want to get caught in the middle. Thanks for the warning. Come on, let's wrap this up. You telling me the truth about this super freighter? They're really going to expose people to the plague? A marine from the shipyard told me that FEMA's involved. Guess they've gone from fixing emergencies to making them. If you ask me, I bet FEMA wants to cause a national emergency and get control of the army. I think we can expect Walton Simons to make a grab for power one way or another. That's all they would need. One national emergency. Then they could get rid of the president, shut down Congress, and suspend the Constitution. Let's buy the GEP ammo. I'll take the GEP ammo for 2500 You want to be about 30 yards back when one of these babies goes off. There it is. Yeah, that gets us 50 skill points. And it completes our secondary goal. So let's hack his computer right quick. From I. Velikovsky, subject Informatia. I found the files you wanted, but I had to obtain them from the Biopreparat data well in Sverdlovsk at great expense. Strange, this information wasn't part of any official Biopreparat research effort that I've been able to find, but was conducted under the codename Velichestveni over the last two decades. There were several other projects attached to the same name being conducted throughout the world, but it was impossible to derive anything from them aside from their existence. In any case, your buyer must have some fairly esoteric interests. time I quick saved. I get I don't mind wasting a lamb, not at this point. With the gap gun I have very little use for them anyway. So let's just see what's in here. Not worth the price of admission. 
Skeeter should be right ah. there now. You'll find my fee debited from your account, IV. Attached, nanoscale molecular interactions with polymerase, dot doc. Biochemical immunity rejection study series 33A, dot doc. Attached, attached, genome map 1 slash I slash IA slash 3C, subject Travis Witsit, dot doc. Attached, sulfur catalytic reaction with protease site 34, dot doc. Attached, regressive degradation of human immune complex, dot doc. Attached, Velichess Vinny 6287C78SDXX.doc From generic mail 883, subject, friend in need. You helped me and some friends out recently. That transaction was business, but you still did me a good turn. I don't forget that. I heard through channels that there's some bad stuff coming down on you. Don't know why, people I talked to just said it had to do with a guy named Travis. I haven't heard of him, but someone wants him dead, cold in the ground, personal reasons, and your name has come up. Fair warning, watch your back, Decker. I wish that raising your computer skill made your icebreaker recharge faster. But at least we get more time to read. Honestly, in this playthrough, that's a more handy skill than just about anything else. From Upnet, subject, read me. And it's to JC Denton, not to Smuggler. Icarus is looking for you. A whole bunch of times. Shick has no email. Icarus is looking for you. Icarus is looking for you. Icarus is looking for you. Well, that's unnerving, to put it mildly. That there's an email to me on Smuggler's computer. Alright. Let's head up through the Todd, just so I can stop it. Paul's old apartment and grab that bio cell. Since I used so many surviving the MJ-12 ambush. Hey, another prod charger. How handy is that? Pretty handy. Alright. Now, same deal as before. Out the window. Up the ladder. And Jock will take us to the shipyard and we will call it a section. Let's go. I'm ready. We'll be back here one final time after we scuttle the freighter. New York City, Brooklyn Naval Shipyards, Submarine Warfare Division. So, I will do new save, real save, quick save, and call it a section. Alright, this has been Let's Play Deus Ex. That was our third visit to Hell's Kitchen. I will see you guys next time for the shipyard. Goodbye.